Hey Taurus, I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, March 26th to Sunday, April 1st, 2018. And before I get started, just wanted to let you know, Taurus, I'm doing a April webinar for this month, and it's going to be this Thursday, March 29th at 6 p.m. Mountain Time, if you want to be there. What I'm going to talk about is what this month is all about, what the major dates are, and how you can use it to the best of your advantage. This month, we've got Saturn and Pluto going retrograde, Chiron moving into Aries, and Venus coming home to Taurus, to your sign, it's where it likes to be. So I see that at least being a very good thing. The way I see this month is we're finally coming out of an old way of living, an old life, and moving into the new one. And this is the transition month where it all takes place as we move forward into a new life, okay, coming in. And I think at the end of this month, especially in the next month, we're going to start to feel much more stable, much more secure, much more lighthearted than we have recently. But it's just making sure this month that everything comes together. And it may take a lot of discipline, may take a lot of determination, may take a lot of effort and decisions. But I think if you can do that by the end of this month, uh, into the next month or two, you're going to start to feel much better, all right? And if that's something you're interested in learning about more of please sign up at the link down below in my description box and hopefully I'll see you there now Taurus for your horoscope what we've got this week the Sun hanging out in Aries which for you is your 12th house of your insides and of your spirituality also of the past the 12th house rules so there's a lot of stuff going on inside you in some way spiritually <laughs> maybe not feeling the most comfortable spiritually inside feeling a little bit uncomfortable I think you're trying to figure out what you need here to find more of that peace in your life to be more whole in some way maybe you're also trying to figure out with the 12th house how you can overcome the past and move forward stepping into a new life living a new cycle doing some things um, that are good, just going to feel better for you overall. All right, so that's what I think the focus is for this week. On Monday, we've got the sun in your 12th house coming into a square with Mars in Capricorn, which is in your ninth house is something new and different that you have not done before. All right, ninth house also rules uh, travel, rules higher education, college with the ninth. Um, also rules, yeah, I said that, studying moving far away sometimes and yeah doing something you have not done before and i think what's going on here is you are trying to overcome the past doing something from the past so that you can start to step into something new bring more new passion freshness back into your life in some way and i think you're trying to figure out how you can let what you what's done is done go and move forward into a new life that you like better just multiple things in your chart i'm getting from that for this week you're really trying to figure out how you can step into new chapters in a much better way feeling more comfortable about it and letting all of this other stuff go all right that's what's happening there as you're doing this there could be some unexpected things that do occur okay that could come up on wednesday of this week and that's because we do have uranus coming into a conjunction with venus or rather venus because it's the faster moving planet coming into a conjunction with uranus on wednesday in your 12th house and what that could bring up for sure is some unexpected things in regards to money uh, financial situation or in regards to relationships coming in could be a little bit jarring because Venus is in Aries, does not like being in Aries. Um, also because Venus doesn't really like the planet Uranus either. <laughs> um, so it definitely could bring up some unexpected things in regards to relationships. Maybe that are a little bit scary for you. You're, you're, a, you're a Taurus, so you're ruled by Venus. So this could especially be a big thing that comes up for you this week. But it can also bring, even if it is a little bit uncomfortable, great insights for you as well about what you need, about who you are, about what makes you feel comfortable and about what you need financially and in relationships in order to move forward, all right? And I see that being a big thing coming in for you on Wednesday. Some kind of unexpected thing could be because it's in your 12th house. Maybe it's secret. Maybe there was something that was going on in secret that all of a sudden is revealed to you as well could be one interpretation of this that comes out in regards to relationships or money that you then have to figure out what do I do with what does this mean how do I integrate it into my life so that I can begin to move forward doing something new in a way that's better all right <laughs> happening on Wednesday then after that happens on Thursday and Friday we've got the Sun move further through Aries your 12th house and make a square over to Saturn very close to Mars in your ninth house of something new and different that you have not done before so what that's gonna bring on Thursday and Friday with the square to Saturn choices decisions commitments <laughs> that could definitely 
come in okay the way i see this week is you're trying to do something new you're trying to move forward then something unexpected happens something is revealed to you about money and relationships that you don't know either externally or some insights that you get inside and then once we get to thursday and friday with this square now that unexpected things have come to you then need to make a decision or a choice on what you want to do on how you're going to do something on what new thing you want to do to put your life in a better place and how you can start to get more comfortable with it overcome the past so that you can move on all right the square to saturn could be a little hard a hard decision to make um could be a little frustrating maybe you're feeling restricted in some way not really knowing what direction to go in still feeling like it's hard because you're being taken out of your comfort zone in some way but needing to stay dedicated disciplined determined to do the things that need to be done in order to move forward all right so that's what I see going on there. I don't, however, see it being all bad. That's because as this is going on, on Friday and Saturday, we have Mercury here in your 12th house of your insides, making a trine over here to the North Node, which is in your fourth house of home, of family, also of stability, security, emotions as well, coming in, really helping you to start to feel better emotionally, to start to work better with home and family, to create a home, to build your life on something that feels more solid, stable, and secure in some way, all right? So even though you may have some decisions that come up about something new that you're doing, even though you may feel uncomfortable about what's going on, I think if you can make these hard decisions, it's gonna bring the Comfort to you later on <laughs> it's gonna help you eventually feel more comfortable it's gonna help you build a home doing something new feeling more stable and secure settling into this life okay so I do see some good things coming even if the decisions on the surface feel a little hard they're meant to help you move forward in a way that I think is gonna be better for you to create a home a family a life that you really like and that feels more comfortable to you, all right? So that's happening there. Then after that on Saturday, we've got a full moon in Libra, and that for you is in your sixth house of your job and of your daily routines. So I think what's coming in on Saturday is as you're trying to overcome the past, do something new, there's some kind of ending or culmination when it comes to your job and what it is that you do on the day to day. Either you are ending some kind of daily routine so that you can do a new one <laughs> that resonates with you better, or you're stepping into some kind of job or daily routine that you've been working for for some time, um, and perhaps a new one, a new job or daily routine so that it is that you can move on, all right? in a much comfortable way, building your life on something that's more stable, all right? So that's what I see going on there. Then after all of that, on Sunday of this week into next week, we get the Sun in a conjunction with Mercury in your 12th house, and we get Mars in a conjunction with Saturn in your ninth house of something new. And I think what that brings on Sunday is a chance for you finally, after everything's happened, to process things spiritually, internally, emotionally, to figure out, okay, now that all of this has happened, now that some unexpected things have come up, now that I know I've got some serious decisions that I need to make about my life, how can I get right with it inside? How can I finally let go of some things from the past that have been holding me down? How can I make sure that I'm okay with where this life is going and get right with myself? All right, I see that happening on Sunday. Mars and Saturn in your ninth house of something new also finally helping you to start on some new journey. I don't think this is like totally new. I think you've been thinking about it for a while, but I think Mars and Saturn here are going to help to super kick it, super drive it so that you can finally start to make more progress moving forward, doing something new, hopefully feeling much better about it on the inside after some things came up at the beginning of this week that maybe were a little um, difficult. Okay, so that's what I see going on for you, Taurus. Now, your card for the week, the King of Pentacles, reversed. Oh, this one is interesting. The King of Pentacles, upright, is definitely a card, I want to say, of financial security, of security all around in some way. His plans, he makes plans and they last. And this, to me, is definitely a card of some kind of insecurity, instability coming financially in a very practical way in your life happening this week. Maybe this is with the full moon in your sixth house coming in. And I think the message here is to not try to control things so much. <laughs> like to not worry if things aren't going according to plan. Like the message of this card reversed is if things aren't going to plan, it's not to like hunker down even more. And it's not to like be like, oh my gosh, things are going right. I have to control things. I have to tell everyone this is how it's going to be done. Like sometimes this king is like a control freak when he's reversed. And I think the message is like, look, 
go with the flow, especially with Uranus in a conjunction with the ruler of your sign. Things are going to come up that you were not planning on. They're going to take your life in a different direction that are going to be a little bit unsettling for a Taurus. Okay, and you need to be okay with that. And you need to realize that if something comes up that's unexpected, it's not meant to hurt you. It's not meant to be a bad thing, but it's meant to give you more information, more clarity on what's going on to move forward. And if you stop trying to control things uh, in the way that you want them to go, I think you're gonna have more success later on moving forward, doing some things that you need to do because you've let other people show their colors to you, because you've let other people offer themselves to you in some way, all right? And to just not worry that if things aren't going according to plan this week, I think there's a larger picture, a bigger picture, a bigger message between it all. And I think if you can let the pieces fall where they may, I think by the end of it, you're going to start to understand better what you need to move forward than if you tried to control it and keep everything close to the chest. All right. So that's what I've got for you this week. Taurus, thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later. Thank you.